Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be kind of a special video. For those of you who don't know, I'm an instructor over at Course Careers. I teach a course on how to get into IT as fast as possible. And today's video, I'm going to be interviewing James, and he's the actual first person to graduate from this course and the first person to subsequently get a job after graduating. So it should be pretty interesting. I'm going to be asking him these questions. So feel free to use the bookmarks to kind of jump around. I'll put links in the description for James's socials as well as a link to the Course Careers course. Let's get started. I brought James on the channel. As you already know, my name is Josh. I'm a YouTuber. Also, I'm a course careers instructor for the IT course. And we have James here with us. He he just finished the course. So like last month or so. Yep. Yeah, and he he agreed to come on here and be interviewed. And he was actually the first person, I believe, to to finish the course. And he he finished it really quickly. So welcome and thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the interview. Yeah. And before we get started, I want to talk about it early on. You have a, a YouTube, right? You created one kind of recently. I did. And the only reason I created the YouTube channel was for the, um, for the GitHub portion of the course careers. And I remember you telling me that if I'm going to um, use videos to show my work was to making a YouTube channel. Yeah, and that's that's what I'd recommend. So part of the course, we set up like a portfolio using GitHub and I, I kind of recommend it. I'm like, it's really nice if you make your own videos and kind of, you know, showcase your your projects and stuff. And that's what he did. So um, do what's your channel? Is it just like your name or how can people find you on there? Uh, I think my channel is James J Grizz. I will try to post more videos on there, try to be more interactive with the content creating side. Sounds good. And then I'll, I'll get the link and I'll, I'll put it in the description or something like this. So gotcha. Cool. So, um, oh yeah, and I am interviewing James because he he actually got a job after graduating the course. So I just I wanted to ask, like, before you got into the course in the IT, what were you doing as far as like your career and jobs go? Man, uh, I was all over. Um, before I was um I was a union carpenter, and work was getting really slow. Laid off, calling job site to job site. Mm. Still wasn't no work going on. So then I started driving full time as a as a medical carrier, and it was you know real sweet job. But I was driving a lot. Like sometimes to make my my daily quota, I would have to drive like twelve hours a day or thirteen hours a day if Dang. if the workload was slow. Mm. Um, I remember one time I drove sixteen hours oh, wow. straight. Dang, that sounds unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I was on the road a whole lot. I didn't like it. My wife didn't like it. Mm. And when I came across IT, um, I was watching this one YouTube channel called um names Anthony O'Neill. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, I was um Anthony O'Neill and he O'Neill and he interviewed a guy about um about being into tech and how lucrative it is, and he actually brought up course careers. And oh, really? that's what made me in the course careers, yeah. Oh nice. Cool. Cool, cool. So how long, if you remember, how long did it take you to complete the course from the time you enrolled to the time you finished the exam? Do you remember? It took me about a week and a half. It was so fast. I didn't intend for that when I was making the course. So I was like, what? Yeah, um, <laughs> about a week. And um, it probably would have been sooner. But when I first registered, it was for the um, the sales, mm, the, uh, um, the, the, the sales course, the what is it? Sales developmental rep. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how it is. Like, I didn't even know that um, Course Careers had an IT course. Like, yeah. I just stumbled on and hit the little orange button by mistake. And then I seen IT technology and I was like, OK, I, I much rather do this. than." It was like brand new by the time you registered, I think. Um, so then you were like one of the first ish people in there. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just um. Yeah. About a week and a half. Yeah. And compared to the the sales course, it's like way shorter. Oh, yeah. Like way shorter. So I'm like, all right, this is manageable. And you you did it on an iPad too, right? All the labs and stuff. Also, I did everything on an iPad. That was I didn't everything. I didn't, I didn't intend for that. I didn't even know you could do yes. that. <laughs> yeah, I, I did the whole course um on an iPad. Cool. And then, so do you remember um, from the time that you graduated to the time you got your, well, for the time, I guess, that you got your first job offer and then finally the one you accepted, do you know how long, I guess, that took you to find a job? So I completed the program October 20th. I think I got my first interview within about um, 
I want to say like another week, maybe like week and a half going into going into November. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to remember the, um, the name of the first agency. It was um it was called Lucas IT. I got my little notes right here. Oh, it's nice. called um Lucas. Yeah. It's called um the first place was Lucas IT Staffing Agency. Um I got an interview with them. And then um I also got um another interview with a company called Robert Half. Um got an email, but that one didn't fall through. Mm. And then um the one that I end up accepting was Marikey. Now, okay. funny story about this. <laughs> when um when I applied to Marikey, um at the bottom of the page, I see that they were formerly known as NHS. I used to work for NHS about like five, six years ago before I got into the Carpenters Union. Mm. And um I was working as um as a DSP. So I applied and I had got um a text message from the well first I got the email from from the hiring manager and she asked me, you know, um when's a good time to schedule interviews and also when's a good time um what what am I looking to be paid? Mm. You know, like my my pay rate. And then I gave her all of my information and then we end up texting. Do you remember if you got um other offers and you're just kind of like waiting to see if you would find a good one or you just accepted that one first um i was just trying to get my foot my foot in the door so whoever gave me the first job offer i was on it yeah. you know i just wanted to get my foot in the door learn the business get my experience like i'm just starting out i'm not i'm not too picky yeah that's that's kind of how I do too. And I'm when I'm trying to break into something, I, I tend to uh prioritize just getting experience first before like anything else so I can understand like you know. Just, mm-hmm. Yeah, and they, they sound like, sound like a nice nice company anyways. They are. They are. And then are you do you feel comfortable with like a, a ballpark of the salary? And did you negotiate salary at all a little bit or how did that go? Um like I said, they um I I'm, 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 I don't mind putting this information out. They said they was going to start me off with 22, 26 an hour. And for a person that's very 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 new in the IT field, you know, no field experience. The only experience I have in IT is course careers. Oh, wow. the so You know, good. so yeah, so to me that's that's real good, you know, entry level. So like I said, I'm just getting my foot in the door. As long as long as I was making somewhere in the twenties, like I wasn't gonna lowball myself too much because I know oh no, around that area when it comes to tech, twenties and up is what they pay. Gotcha. Now oh, one, oh shit, for your area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I'm I'm comfortable with that. Like I know even for entry level coming in, I should at least be starting with twenty. You know, so once I I heard twenty two, I'm like, all right, I'm cool with that. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty much starting from the bottom. You know, I don't have no experience, you know, besides course careers and all the training. So, hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. It, it's good. And I got that job quick. Yeah, that's that's the good part. Um, you really, really save on opportunity costs because the mm-hmm. maybe course was like five hundred dollars. And then you you got a job like really soon afterwards. And then you can kind yeah. of get your experience. And I think that's uh, totally fine. I think it's good. Oh, yeah. Now, once I get some experience, then then I'll then I can pick and up my price. Yeah. Plus, your your YouTube gonna help too for sure. Right. Yeah. I'm definitely going to use the YouTube. I'm um, studying for my CompTIA A plus. You know. So right now, I'll take the little numbers. But once I get up there, you know, yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> That's fat, yeah. Like Fat Joe said. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Was there any part of course careers that you found particularly helpful for creating like your resume and like getting the job ultimately anything that stands out to you the resume did help because when i created my own resume it was it was pretty lengthy so just um just seeing how you format your resume you know shortening it up that um that helped a lot the um the interview portion of course careers you know i kind of knew what questions to expect mm-hmm. you know so um that also helped a lot and um, also the github oh yeah um, yeah yeah the github portion you know being able to be like hey um um i have experience with active directory i have experience with a um, particular system os ticket um i have experience with microsoft azure 
via you know virtual machines i'm able to like physically show them these those things yeah oh. so um, that those three things helped out a lot do you mind if i show your portfolio in this video somewhere no no okay. oh, go ahead okay okay I'll, I'll do that i'll like edit it i'll edit it in <laughs> mm -hmm. cool and then did you have like um like what's your what was your most favorite part of the course and then the most difficult part of the course like what comes to mind for those two things so my most favorite part of the course i'm gonna say is the whole course <laughs> well thanks and and the re reason being because everything that we went over throughout the courses it's relevant to what it is that i'm going to be doing mm -hmm. You know, like, like it's ev all everything is relevant, you know, from the um, from the GitHub, if, you, if you're trying to find a job so you can showcase your work, the Active Directory, all of the labs is relevant because I'm really am going to be using Active Directory. I really am going to be using a ticketing system. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, so it was like all of those things is is relevant, um, even down to IP addresses and, you know, the different parts of the computer. Like if you landed a tech job and you're going to be working on computers, like physically replacing them or anything like that, you know, replacing parts, upgrading servers, printers, like pretty much everything that we covered in the course taught you how to do it. So everything is applicable. Um, the hardest part was just OS ticket, oh, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like a, a, a thousand steps to try to download that one ticket system. Yeah. But other than that, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tried to, I tried to make the course. Um, I know the CompTIA, CompTIA is good. I'm not saying they're bad, but their thing is like kind of broad and there's a lot, a lot of theory. So with course careers, I, I tried to only include stuff that, it's probably on most entry level jobs. And then I tried to, you know, go deep in those topics. So I'm glad right. that that kind of ended up being the case. I'm happy to hear that from you. So absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And OS ticket was, um, it's really complicated. I was actually worried when I was making that lab because I was like, this is a lot of steps. I wonder how many, if people are going to like complain about this, but it was a lot of it. Um, People seem to be able to get through it, including you. So I was happy, uh, and on an <laughs> iPad as well. So that was that's and a, on the iPad. It <laughs> was impressive. Yeah, I definitely got through it. I was like, man, I I hope I ain't got to do this out in the field. Oh yeah, <laughs> they'll probably give you a laptop. Oh, they did, right? They gave you a laptop somewhere. Yep, yeah. I got a laptop. I yeah. got a laptop with with everything already on it. So, do you have any uh future plans? If I might ask for like future certifications or like future jobs or anything like this. Um, well, right now I'm studying for the CompTIA A+, plus. you know, so I'm like actually working on that right now when um, I've been watching the videos that you recommended, you know, with Professor Messer. Yeah, yeah, he's good. I'm looking at, yeah, I'm looking at that. Um, I'm on, I'm on YouTube. Um, I'm going to use the um, Anki to create the flashcards. I've been doing that and I, I don't, I'm so new to tech. So it was like, should I do cybersecurity or networking? Like I'm, I'm leaning more like towards the cybersecurity because ultimately I just, I just want to make good money mm. and, and, and be comfortable doing it. And that was my whole reason for getting in, into tech. Like I'm, I'm tired of driving hours and hours upon hours. Yeah. And um, the carpentry was good. Like I didn't mind it, but it was, I, I need something stable. You know, it was like the layoffs. So you get laid off. You don't know when you're going back to work sometime. Unless, unless you're like really, 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 really plugged in. Mm, yeah, I feel like, you. And see, and, and that that's another thing. Like um, when I went to Indeed, when I went to LinkedIn, when I went to Zip Recruiter, oh, I type in help desk and there's like jobs upon jobs upon jobs. Yeah. Like, yeah. like a, a, a lot. It is like compared to the union. I remember like last year, I, I think I called like every company like in Philly, like went out to job sites and everything. Sorry, we're not hiring. We're not hiring. We're not hiring. And I was laid off for like six months. Dang. Damn. Yeah. Like it was, it was hard. Very, very hard. I think it was like the year before that, but it, it, it was tough. It was real tough versus me having no experience. Went through course careers and got a job in like within like two weeks. Yeah, yeah, you did a great job with all that. The execution of the job hunt and all that. So good, good job. Mm -hmm. 
I tell people it's, it's a numbers game. Like it, it's a numbers game. Once once you once you graduate, put in as many applications as you possibly can. You know, do as many interviews as you possibly can. Like um, let me see. Um, it was it was Lucas IT staff and um, it was the other one that I mentioned. Let me go to my notes. What's the name of that one again? Um, Robert Half. I mm. think there was um another company that 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 reached out to me. So it was like the week after I graduated course careers, the next week interview, the <laughs> next week interview, and then it's like ultimately Marikey had reached out to me, and I didn't do nothing special. I just applied like crazy. Mm. Do you know? Like, um, just, did you use that uh, application tracking like the template to keep track of them, or you don't you don't have to use that? I just wrote it down on paper. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um I wrote um wrote it down on paper, you know, like initially, like if I didn't have my cell phone on me and they, and they reached out and uh -huh. then um I would and then I put it in my notes. Mm -hmm. So when they call, you know, I could pull up my notes, hey, we're calling from this such and such. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so I, I I just use my notes on my cell phone or a piece of paper. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. So is there any um before we wrap up the interview, is there anything else you want to like say or share your Instagram or follow you? You have a LinkedIn, right? So I'll put that in the description if it's okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool, cool. Absolutely. Yep. So um, yep. James J. Grizz, and you'll see me with my my Linux shirt on, holding the saw. That's how it is me. Cool, cool. On the job site. Cool. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for the interview. Really, really appreciate it. Glad to have you thank come you right back first. Yeah, no problem. Thanks so much. All right. Appreciate it. Anytime. See you later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for James's socials, as well as the Course Careers course on how to get into IT as fast as possible. See you in the next video.